Today on Corporate Review, join us as we explore innovative technologies, cutting edge solutions, and timely discussions from leaders across the globe. This is Corporate Review. Welcome to Corporate Review, I'm Jackie Bales. Every successful organization has one thing in common, excellence in leadership. However, it is a challenge for CEOs to develop corporate leaders while reducing costs and working in an incredibly stressful corporate environment. Joining us today is Dr. Karen Kula, Executive Director of the Thayer Leader Development Group at West Point, and Lieutenant General Buster Hagenbeck, retired superintendent of West Point. They're here to discuss how they're helping CEOs overcome the challenge of doing more with less. Welcome to you both. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having us. General Hagenbeck, please explain some of the challenges that corporations are facing these days. Well, with the constrained financial and economic conditions that exist in the country right now, they're all working through that, and it tends to be that they look at the bottom line and profits and what's going to happen tomorrow or next week rather than taking a long-term view or strategic look at their corporations. And hence, they don't spend the time, money, effort to develop leaders within their own corporations. Hmm. Dr. Kula, on a high level, explain for us how Thayer Leader Development Group is helping businesses overcome these challenges at West Point. As we face a, a wave of global human and economic challenges, it really is prudent on us to help develop leaders of character to guide us through the 21st century. So that's exactly what we're doing with CEOs, is developing those leaders of character. I chose TLDG because I believe that, uh, that the, the, the leadership model that comes out of the military, which I believe is very misunderstood out in corporate world, uh, that, that's taught here at West Point, really this is its spiritual center, right here at West Point. Um, I believe that those lessons are absolutely needed. Values-based leadership is kind of the core. It's what's happening at their leader development group, and we're committed on an ongoing basis to using this as one of our leader development tools to continue to invest in our leadership. Now, General Hagenbeck, as the former superintendent of West Point, how do you believe TLDG supports the current superintendent of West Point's mission? Well, it supports us uh, wholeheartedly, and it's a good partnership. The purpose of the, uh, the superintendent's relations with external audiences is just that, the West Point brand. This gives them the opportunity now to extend that brand through corporations across America. And that is exactly what's happening. In fact, the Chief of Staff of the Army has directed the current superintendent to do that. So I think the partnership is terrific. Now, Dr. Kula, how do you design programs for corporations to help them develop their leaders? What do you do? Well, it all starts with the client and what are their goals, their objectives, their needs, and the gaps that they're trying to fill. So we work with the senior sponsor, typically at the C-suite level, to design or co-design an experience together. It's completely customized around their goals and objectives. And we have programs that last half a day, up to 12 days. It could be contiguous. It could be divided over a certain period of time. But in the end, again, it all goes back to the client's goals and objectives. Well, Dr. Kula and General Hagenbeck, it sounds like TLDG and West Point are continuing to develop leaders of character. Thanks for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for having us. For Corporate Review, I'm Jackie Bales. Thanks for watching.